Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion will be Cessna Aircraft Spar Carry Through Inspections. Now, today we are using a sacrificial Cessna 150 fuselage for discussion, but this same style of construction can be used on all the 150s, 152s, 170, 172, 182, all the way up through the Cessna 206 series aircraft. Any strutted Cessna single engine will use the same style of construction. Anytime the wing uh, or wings are removed from the aircraft, this is an excellent opportunity to do this inspection. Uh, what we will do uh, today is show uh, on the spar carry through channels. Uh, what you will want to do with the wing off the aircraft is to remove the bolts from the end of the spar carry through. Uh, there's a block on both left and right forward spar carry through left and right aft spar carry through as well, four bolts holding each of these blocks in the end of each carry through. Uh, when you remove the bolts, take careful note of the orientation of the bolts. On some uh, particular areas, they may put the bolts in aft to forward uh, with the head being on the rear side of the uh, channel. Uh, other places, uh, typically they will be front to back, forward to aft, with the head on the forward side of the channel. For uh, sake of expedience, we have uh, already removed the bolts from this particular block here. These are just regular AN bolts. Uh, my suggestion would be to simply replace these with brand new bolts uh, once the inspection is done and the blocks are reinstalled in the carry through. The blocks can then be removed from the end of the channel and we will want to uh, look for corrosion on these blocks here. These blocks are of an extruded material. They are prone to intergranular corrosion where uh, corrosion comes from the inside out. Uh, it will flake apart. Uh, the material will actually burst and bubble up. So we'll want to inspect these blocks both on the inside of the fork and on the exterior surfaces as well. This is also an excellent opportunity to use a flashlight, shine through the spar carry through channel, looking for dirt, debris, corrosion uh, inside of the spar carry through channel. Uh, you will also want to uh, treat this at that time, either spraying a uh, zinc chromate, some type of uh, uh, epoxy primer, or an ACF-50, uh, some kind of uh, oil-based uh, corrosion preventative as well. On this 150 fuselage, we have drilled the rivets off of the roof panel uh, just to show you what the interior of these spar channels looks like. Again, this is the same style of construction used on all uh, 100 and 200 series strutted aircraft. You can see this is simply a channel running side to side with a block installed at each end. This is where the wing attaches to the fuselage. With the roof panel removed, this allows us to see what the inside uh, construction of these channels uh, appears to be. Uh, as you can see in here, uh, this uh, particular channel is clean as far as corrosion, but uh, you can see there's mud daubers nests, wasp nests, bugs, and this is exactly uh, what we're looking for, the problems we're uh, trying to discover while we're doing this inspection. Again, with the roof panel removed, uh, we can see the style of construction of these spar carry through channels. This allows us to uh, see right here uh, external corrosion issues on this particular spar carry through channel. This is the rear spar carry through channel. Uh, corrosion probably caused by insulation, soundproofing, interior panels being installed right next to the metal holding moisture uh, over the years, uh, which facilitates the uh, formation of corrosion. Once the inspection has been done of the spar carry through, uh, once the inspection has been completed of the uh, spar uh, carry through block, this uh, block can then be cleaned, primed. Uh, the interior of the spar carry through channels uh, either primed or sprayed with ACF-50 or similar material. Uh, the blocks can then be installed back into the spar channels and then of course uh, new hardware being installed back in there to uh, put the blocks back in place. This would uh, complete that inspection. The wing could then be reinstalled on the aircraft.